Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about descriptive statistics in PySpark. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So friends, what is the descriptive statistics means? For the data that we are handling, we need to get, sometimes based on the requirement, we may need to get average, count, minimum, maximum, standard deviation and shaping the data. Once we have all these statistics, then we can perform the calculation on top of it and we can analyze mainly in the data science world, we need to analyze the data for taking the better results, for analyzing the better future. Because of that reason, we have some functions in PySpark. Today we will see how to work with descriptive statistics. So friends, I am taking order items data for the sample. So I have just uh, created the schema. Without schema also we can do it. But here I just wanted to show that we can use the schema using the struct type. For that we have to import uh, PySpark.SQL types and import all types. Because here we may need struct type, integer, float, string type and all that. And then I am creating the order df and inside the schema I am passing this my schema and format is csv because I have this file order items.csv file so I have taken the format as csv and using the 2df function I am assigning the headers to it so now when I do order df.show it is showing the available the top 20 rows by default because I have given show here in the order uh, order df. So now let's see how to get the values means the descriptive statistics out of this data. So order df dot describe dot show. This describe is the function used for showing the descriptive statistics of the given data. So friends if you see here one new column called summary has been created with count, mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum of each and every column present in this data frame. In the order ID it is starting with one minimum value maximum 1,72,198 rows are there I think in this file because of that reason it is showing or maybe this is a maximum ID it's not counting yeah if, if you see here the counting also same for each and everything which means that this file that I am reading here has 1,72,198 records and similarly this mean is for all the values present in this current row current uh, column order item ID similarly this mean means average average for the values that is present in this column so describe function just without any parameters if you just say describe it gives the these statistics for each and every column available in the data frame now you want only for the selected column let's say because this subtotal usually we will be doing it on totals or price related right so we can have it for a single column or we can put by, by placing the comma and this one like a list we can send to describe for getting two also and if we don't pass anything it will display for all the available data frame columns and if you see here in the summary it is for this particular column it is giving what is the count means total number of records what is the mean mean of all the 1,72,000 1198 rows what is the average and what is the standard deviation and what is the minimum value and what is the maximum value okay so you can see here for the order item subtotal these values are matching with this one okay so now the same thing we can also do using select option so select order item subtotal dot describe dot show 
so even this gives the same result and now we will see how to uh, add another column now we have seen for one column right so there is another float type column so now now i will add it and we have to send like a list so i am keeping the uh, this one box brace and i am sending it and now you can see for the given two columns the statistics has been printed count mean standard deviation mean and max so once we have these details then we can easily analyze the data for further uh, implementation or something like that okay so now instead of describe let's say they they for some other reason you may not be able to use this describe let's say or you want only max you don't want all the other things then what i can do is dot select have we imported functions we have it so i'm importing sql functions why because for all these functions whatever if i wanted to use them individually i need to put it as functions i need functions so that from functions i can use those libraries so inside this select i can say f dot max of this one okay so we, we, what it will do is it will take the maximum value of the given one and it will disk show okay so maximum is 1999.9 and here also you can see this and similarly like how we have described right so this describe will give what is the count count for all the records 100% which means all the records means 100% but sometimes for sampling or something we may need to for uh, for forecasting or for some prediction we may need to have percentages of the data so someone will ask you what is the 25% of the data some something so what is the value of uh, quarter uh, of data or something like that we, where we need to have some percentage related data right that time we can use summary okay so it is also like summary dot show data frame dot summary dot show will give you all the descriptive statistics along with the percentages of data which means that it will take random 25% of the data and it will give the the values in that values what is the what is the 50% of the data what is the average or what is the uh, what is the 25% of the data which is available inside this order items okay so those kind of percentage details if you want you can use summary but usually we will we use describe most of the times okay because we will be working on 100% data got it and this is one way so here we have seen how to use describe passing the value in the describe passing the value in the select and passing uh, as a function if you want only one one particular one max or something then how can you do it and similarly if you want two two functions together that time what you have to do is you can send it as a list and in the same thing you can send another function maybe minimum or it can be for any any uh, column it need not be the same okay so this is the maximum of this minimum of this you can select this column here okay then it will show what is the minimum of this product price and maximum of this one this is another way and we also have another way to do uh, i mean to select the aggregation functions which is this max min and all that so for that first we have to do group by we'll do group by this one 
order item order id because that is what is uh, being repeated we can send multiple values in a list here okay so in this after group by we have to have the aggregation function and inside that in the flower braces you can send the this column on whichever column you wanted to uh, perform this aggregation operation that column name and what you want to do you you if you want the maximum of it type max if you want minimum type minimum if you want standard deviation type std dev whatever function you want you can do it and then dot show so here you can see order item order id and maximum in for each uh, group because here we are doing the group by for it is grouping by the order id and out of that particular selected order id records what is the maximum of this one so this is a way for getting the maximum here you can write minimum standard count everything okay and uh, similarly we can here if you see here max of like this it is coming right so we can rewrite this for having the one second so here f dot max because this is a function you have to write like this f dot max we have to remove the flower braces so dot agg f dot max of this one here wherever after this max right just to do alias and say max value so here you can rename it so here you can see right the header has been changed so you can perform all these of operations aggregation operations in this uh, ty different types of ways and you can uh, get the descriptive statistics so similarly we have uh, other descriptive statistics like um, courtesies uh, for some shape of the data and uh, similarly uh, this count minimum maximum mean means average here standard deviation okay and uh, um, skewness so if you wanted to get the data skewness also uh, using this describe method we can get this uh, I mean descriptive statistics we can get the data skewness to see whether the given data is in the positive side or negative side if you start working on the graphs and checking the shape of the data right for graph representation purpose there the data skewness courtesies everything will help you but for working on PySpark normal development wise this describe and this other uh, aggregation functions writing like this along with the alias so this is the most in out of the other ways I feel this is the more help helpful uh, method for performing the aggregation operation okay hope uh, this is useful to you friends just think uh, I mean this uh, this uh, describe and summary right mainly describe is the one which is useful uh, in the coding you also please try and let me know if you are facing any issues thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you